Hello there and welcome to the old horseshoe in the banks of the Olentangy. Home to the Ohio State Buckeyes, one of the great settings in sport. And man, this place is rocking today. Today, two teams from the even bigger Big Ten clash. A conference that now stretches from the Atlantic all the way to the Pacific. This will be a good one. As we'll see, the Iowa Hawkeyes taking on the second-ranked team, the Ohio State Buckeyes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. Bring it out from his end zone. Bulldozing his way past tacklers. And the coverage seat gets the returner to the ground. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Look him out throwing here to start the drive. That one is incomplete. Took a downfield shot on first down, but missed it. Well, this defense has got to be aware that this quarterback and this offense coordinator, they're not afraid to take shots. Here we see it early in this game. Throwing the ball downfield. Defense has got to be aware. Keep those safeties back. Keep your eyes up. Try to keep a lid on this offense and look for some turnover opportunities. Going to run it. It's Henderson. They'll tackle him at the 17-yard line. Third and six, a challenging spot here on the opening drive. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. Can't hold on. Good defensive play, brings up a fourth down. Gosh, I, I just love to watch this defense fly around. Great job here on third down. Look at it, you're on the road. Things are going against you early in the game, and you block all of that out, and you're running around with confidence making plays. Buckeyes will have to kick this away. And this will be the first punt for this offense this afternoon. This one will be fair caught. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid game there. Boy, he has such a great size. I just love this play call in first and ten. The defense is expecting a run. Instead, you go play action and you throw it to the big man for some positive yards on first and ten. Important second down play coming up. And they hand it off to the back. They get it down, but not before he gets to the plus 38. How about the offensive line here? Just a hat on a hat, opening up just enough room for the back to squeeze through there for a nice game. It's a first and ten play coming up for the offense. Gives it to the back. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. The defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Dropping back, it's McNamara. And that pass ball is incomplete. Everything about this play tells you about today's offenses and what they're asking out of their running backs. You can't just be a guy who runs the football anymore. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't do a very good job of it on this play. After the second down incompletion, I have to convert here on third down and eight. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Catch made on the right side. Tackle made at the 26. Good enough for a first down. Well, it's a good thing they pick up the first down here because it would have been interesting to see. They were kind of in that no man's area there. If they did not pick up the first down, would they have kicked the field goal or would they have gone for it? But here, doesn't matter. Nice first down. Off the play fake on first down. Breaks free. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. A 
Takes that. There's second down. And he's back to throw again after that incompletion on first down. Grab down the middle. It's Brown. Well, the defense didn't have any time at all to get pressure on the quarterback. He gets the ball out of his hands pretty quickly on the hitch to the receiver. Just underway, and this home crowd is fired up and ready to make a difference today. They're going to throw for it on third and short. Signs a good throw. The tackle is made. The offense is now set up with the first and goal from the eight. Oh, I love it. Keep the kicker on the sideline. This offense knows when you're in the red zone, you got to come away with six. Great play to keep this drive moving. And the Hawkeyes looking to punch it in here. It's first and goal. Back to throw. It's McNamara. Caught near the goal line. Brought down at the five after the catch. The offense really threatening now. Well, you can tell the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the football. He was going to that in route no matter what. He hits it for a nice game. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire his defense to make a big red zone stop. Makes a quick catch. Tackle down at the three after the catch. Defense up against it now. This defense is spread out all over the field, trying to be able to make plays in space. That is a key. Good job of tackling and keep him out of the end zone. They've moved it to the three. Now it's third and goal. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. They pressure him and get him. The loss back to the seven-yard line. Finally, the defense is able to come up with a play on this drive. Let's face it, this offense has been able to put things together. Quarterbacks had a nice drive, but finally, great job of getting the pressure and getting after that quarterback. So they're short on fourth down. Coach decides to trot out the field goal team. They'll set up at the right hash mark for this chip shot. And that is no good. With that miss, no change in the score. That's a missed opportunity for some points here. The way they were moving the football, I thought maybe a touchdown to barely at least three points, but instead, he shanks it. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Caught behind the line. It's Scott. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Well, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Off play action. He's looking to throw. Looking for his big tight end. Makes the catch downfield. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Boy, they do a great job here on play action. The linebackers were completely fooled. Two or three steps up into the line of scrimmage. Opened up a nice lane behind the backers, between the safeties, for the quarterback to make the read and a good throw downfield. And the quarterback keeps it here. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. What a great job of playing assignment football here against the option by this defense. Every aspect of that play was taken away. The quarterback got into desperation mode and loses yards. Now they're behind the sticks. Second down after that previous play. Grab behind the line. It's Scott. And they bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down marker. Well, this is what coaches love to see. Quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. Dropping back. It's Howard. Looks to the left for a quick throw. And he pulls in the catch. They bring him down, but not before an explosive play through this offense through the air. Just excellent execution here by the offense. They've set themselves up nicely now into the red zone to see if they can come up with a touchdown. The 
Buckeyes come up to the line to crank the tempo up here. It's a quarterback keeper. He stopped him after a six-yard game, so second and four. Well, I think we can all see how tough it is to control this guy under center today for this defense, but they did a nice job of keeping him contained. But they've got to stay focused. They can't get lazy because we could see him breaking one any moment against this defense. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. Pass not complete. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. Play action fake, looking to throw. Got him for a sack. A big play made them one of the senior leaders of this defense. The defender did not bite on the fake at all. They were in pass rush mode the entire time. So on fourth down now, out comes the field goal unit. Right down the middle. It breaks the scoreless tie here. Makes it 3-0. Now, I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. I'm surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. And he'll bring it out from inside the tent. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. Now. And the Iowa offense is back out on the field. The last drive was a little demoralizing. They stalled and then missed a field goal. They get him to the ground about the 18-yard line. Hat on the hat up front. Good job opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Second down after that run on the previous play. Well handed off. Here's a jet sweep. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Man, the biggest thing when you run the jet sweep, you cannot afford penetration. Here the defense does a nice job almost anticipating the jet sweep is coming, and they make this offense pay for that with a significant loss. And wow, listen to this crowd noise. This stadium is vibrating. That's why this is such a nowhere to go. The ball knocked loose. Now the defense has got it going the other way. Touchdown, Ohio State. A fumble return for six. Oh, just a killer for this offense. Potentially a 14-point swing. Not only do you not come up with a score yourself, but you instantly give the defense a touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And it's field of Berturner trying to create good field position here. The coverage team able to bring him down. Okay, so the Hawkeyes offense is back out on the field. A handoff to the back. They bring him down right at the 20. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. The game makes it second and medium.
Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Boy, this defense is strong up front. Linebackers are flying downhill, able to make plays against this run game. Now they get this offense to another third down. Now you pressure that quarterback and try to build on the lead. It's third down for the offense. To the air, it's McNamara. Gets made on the left side. The game is not enough for first down, so it brings up a fourth and short. The Hawkeyes will have to kick it away. He's on looking for a solid punt here. And the returner decides to signal fair catch. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. Had to reluctantly settle for a field goal last time out. Really want to find the end zone here. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Grab near the sticks. It's a Buka. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Well, a lot of times when a quarterback sees man defense, he wants to get the ball out of his hands as quickly as possible. Put the ball in the hands of one of their best playmakers and hope that he can break a tackle or two on the outside and get a big play. Fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Off the play fake, looking to throw. The pocket breaking down. It's incomplete. It was hit as he threw. Good pass rush there on first down. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. Second down play coming up for this offense. They'll give it to the back. And a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. Third down play for this offense. the wide receiver coming in motion now fakes the handoff looking to throw escapes the pocket but cannot make a play and they sack him oh really nice by the big fella there a defensive tackle he never bought into that play action fake and went right in for the quarterback and brought him down The Buckeyes will send the punt team onto the field. We're going to kick it away for the second time. And here's the fair catch by the return man. And the Hawkeyes offense is back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. And they get a drive going this time. On the run, it's Williams. And the game will pick up the first down. Tackle up the 22. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. And the Hawkeyes come up to the line in a hurry up. Running game is working. They'll stick with it on first down. Defense makes the tackle on the ball carry. Tell you, this defense continues to just be physical at the line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground, and by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back the throw, they become a one-dimensional offense. And there's the handoff. They'll tackle him at the 27. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from a running game. A 
defense looking to convert on third and short from the 27. It's scanning the field, it's McNamara. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. You bring him down, but he makes the four-yard line. That's a solid game. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. About time this offense gets going, it's a first and ten. The back's got it. Only a small game. Now we'll get a second and nine. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground, and you got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Running out of time in the pocket. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. Now the offense facing a third and long from their own 41. Dropping back, you're going to throw for the first down. Quarterback delivers complete to the right side. What out of the 46, good enough for a first down. Boy, this is outstanding by this offense. Third down conversion. The wideout sells that he's going to go downfield, turns and breaks back to the quarterback, sees the quarterback's eyes, and he puts the football right on his numbers. Very nice third down conversion on the curl. Oh, it's a reverse. Breaking tackles. He gains nine, so it's second and one. Good job of squeezing that in between the defenders. And the Hawkeyes lining up here on first and ten. Handoff heading left. Already got the first down, but looking for more yardage. Tackle made after a big game. Outstanding blocking on the left side of that offensive line. That's really what opened up this play. They did their job, and you can see the results. You burst open and get a big gain on the ground. If I were them, I'd keep going to that side and see how much more success they can have. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Caught over the middle, it's Anderson. Brought down at the three after the completion. The offense really threatening now. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. Here comes a crucial second down to play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. He powers into the end zone. Touchdown, Iowa. So they reach the end zone after a marathon march. How about the execution on that drive, Kirk? Well, I know a lot of times people get excited for the big plays. They're fun to watch. But what's impressive to me is an offense that can put together a long drive and then finally cap it off with a touchdown. That way you don't have to always rely on the big plays. That's a great drive. And now they'll set up for the point after. PAT up and good. They get a little bit closer. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Now 
He's going to try for a return from a couple yards deep in the end zone. He'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Here comes the powerful Buckeye offense back out of the field. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in their last possession. He's looking deep here. Incomplete. They cannot connect on the deep ball. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, but hands, sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Scanning the field, it's Howard. Short throw complete to the tight end. You get him down, but that's a nice play. Moves the ball to the 33. Just another great example, Chris, of an Ohio State quarterback and receiver combination being so dangerous. You think about it, over the last eight or ten years, I think Ohio State has been as consistent as anybody when it comes to the passing game and the efficiency that comes with it. Quarterback still with the football. Brought down after picking up five yards, so second and five. Man, every single time this guy runs the option, you're kind of like holding your breath, wondering if he's going to break a tackle or get out into the open field and use his speed. He picks up some yards here, but let's see if this defense can keep putting pressure on him and not letting him get out into the open. The quarterback keeps it on the option. The senior able to make the stop after a short game. Not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. I'll give them credit. They didn't lose anything, so it wasn't a negative play. But this kind of play's got to be able to hit big and get down the sidelines for big yards. That run sets up an important third down call for this offense. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. But they don't connect. It's incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here, third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes is just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. And at fourth down, they'll punt it away here. And the returner elects to fair catch it. No return. And the Iowa offense back out on the field. They scored a touchdown in their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. They don't block the defensive end. It shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback. But he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. You know, in that era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. Looking to throw, it's McNamara. Throws to the tight end. He's got a man down the middle. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. Some really tight windows to throw into for this quarterback with the defense sitting back in zone. But he finds the curl route, and he shows you his arm strength by getting it in there. The Hawkeyes will have first and ten here. Using his legs, it's Williams. Breaks a tackle on the play, makes a decent game. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play call, allow him to make that defense take. Are they going to run? Maybe play action? Maybe throw the ball downfield? Here's the second down play. Takes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Grab near the sticks. It's Irvin. They've got it, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. Well, it's so easy to get caught up in the receivers and the quarterback, and your eyes get lost. You forget about the running back. Nice catch and a first down for this offense. And the Hawkeyes pick up enough for a first down. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. Short pass finds the tight end. Tackle made after the completion. Just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, 
that the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody. It allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. Tackle made after just a short game. Third down coming up after that running play. Back to throw. It's McNamara. That's the running back who makes the catch across the middle. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. Chris, I kind of feel like a coach right now because I'm always wondering why the angle route continues to be so effective when as an inside linebacker, all you're ever taught, all you hear about is don't let him cross your face. If they want to go to the outside, it's okay. But inside, no, no, no. Can't have that happen, and it cost him. And off the deflection, it's caught. And he's brought down, but they went backwards after the completion. Good work by the defense. Chris, did they catch a break here? That ball is deflected. Zone coverage, eyes on the ball. They get their hands on it. But the offense doing a good job somehow come down with that for a completion. Offense getting set. Second down play here. And the quarterback dropping back. And he dumps it off to the tight end. He has a load to bring down. Finally, a strong tackle by the quarterback gets him. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. So now from the 29, it's third down and short. Let's see what the play call is going to be here. Already in field goal range, but of course, thinking touchdown. Makes the grab. It's Williams. And they wrap him up, but the gain is good enough for a first down. Chris, sometimes the quarterback's just trying to find the open guy and get him the ball. It's exactly what he's able to do here. Found a way to pick up the first down. The Hawkeyes are looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. Here comes a throw from the red zone. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Oh, and a chance at an interception in the end zone. Could not quite hold on to the ball. It's going to be second down. You know, I, I like the quarterback's patience here. And instead of trying to force the issue and squeeze the ball into coverage, he just decides to just basically throw it away and live for the next down. Second down play coming up. Looking to throw yet again. With the catch, it's Williams. And heads out of bounds after a decent game. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. Crucial. Third down coming up in the red zone. Can he keep the drive going or will they have to settle for three? In the third and short, they'll try to throw for it. It's an out route. The catch made. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. For if you play quarterback, how about appreciating a receiver that runs his routes that precisely? Chris, it's not just his route running. It's the chemistry between the quarterback and the receiver that really, I think, is unique. They put so much time into this in the offseason. By the time they get to Saturdays, you can close your eyes and make your throw. It's exactly what we saw right there. Here's the point after attempt. The extra point is good, so it's 14-10 now. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. He's going to return it from near the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. Well, it's been an entertaining first half. Not much time remaining to cut into this lead. Looking for the wideout. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Man, Chris, I don't know if that was a bad read by the quarterback or a bad route by the receiver. they got to get this cleaned up before the next time they go through the air. So, second down after the incompletion. Dropping back, it's Howard. Caught quickly. 
The pickup is four. Sets up a third and six now. Timeout called by the defense. They'll go to the sideline and try to adjust. It's their first timeout. Critical third down play for this offense right here. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Oh, and he dropped it. You don't see that often from this guy. Brings up fourth down. Buckeyes will line up to punt it away. You'll call for the fair catch here. Okay, so the Hawkeyes offense is back out on the field. They got off to a slow start, but they have been clicking lately. Can they build on this lead now in the second quarter? Looking for his big tight end. He pulls it in for a big game. And the game just good enough for a first down. Well, this is why running the football is so important. You run the ball, and when you go play action, it affects the eyes of the safeties and the linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Oh, downfield catch made on the left side. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Well, you wonder if the receiver adjusted his route to get closer to that first down line. Whatever he did, it works. Move the sticks. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? Off the play fake, looking to throw. And he'll loft it to the end zone. Oh, and a chance at an interception in the end zone. Could not quite hold on to the ball. It's going to be second down. Boy, not only did they drop what looked like an interception in their own end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum in their favor. Incomplete. Second down coming up. Dropping back, it's McNamara. The receiver makes the grab. Offense stops the clock with their second timeout to talk strategy. This offense is clicking, and clearly, everything seems to be working. The coordinator is calling good plays. The quarterback and the rest of his receivers and running backs are executing. And frankly, this defense is showing almost no resistance. It's a short completion of the big tight end. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. strategy time for just one or two plays here before halftime so on second down they'll try out the field goal unit trying to get three before halftime this one is right through oh chris it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board So here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. Here we're turning from inside the 10-yard line. And the coverage team brings him down as the clock runs out in the first half of play. Meadows going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. The Buckeyes will kick it deep to begin the second half. Fields it just outside the goal line. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. And the Hawkeyes offense is back out on the field. And a chance right away here in the second half to stretch the lead and build momentum. Let's see what this defense can do about it. They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid game here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Back to pass. It's McNamara. 
Quick throw complete to the tight end. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a game there. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. So a very makeable third down for the offense with a 29. Again, thrown out of the RPO, and it's complete. They bring him down at the 44. That's a solid game, getting closer to midfield now. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are, working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down. you got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it. You convert, and you keep working that clock. Hand off to the single back. Picks up two, so it's second and eight. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But I've been always impressed with defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. That's exactly what we saw right there. Offense getting set. It's second down. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. They wrap him up after the completion, just short of the first down marker. You know, the good thing about this play is it's not an explosive play, but it really gives you a chance now to be able to pick up a first down here on this next play. Third down play, looking for a fresh set of downs. Can he get there on the ground? The first down pickup tackle at the 45. How impressive have these guys been up front today. Big third down, know what you need to do, get the first down, continue to hold on to that lead, continue to work clock, and get that much closer to securing a victory. And the Hawkeyes pick up enough for a first down here. Gonna run it, it's Williams. And the defense smothers him for no gain. The defense made a good play there, but needs to string along more stops like that against this running back if they want to be able to win this game. The one game has looked good in the first half, but maybe that won't be the case from now on. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. From the shotgun, an inside handoff. They try the middle, but gain nothing on that play. Maybe this stop is an indicator of what's to come for this defense. The offense, frankly, has been able to enforce their will in the first half, but maybe things are starting to change. Eighth play of the drive coming up. What a long way to go on third down. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long, but when you're so far behind the chains, but you really allow this defense to dictate things and it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing, as we saw on this play. They'll kick it away here. And no chance for a return as the punch sails out of bounds. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. Opening play of the drive, he looks right for a completion. This is an example of a quarterback and his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. Take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. The Buckeyes looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Looking to pass. It's Howard. Makes a quick grab. And he will make the first down. Tackled at the 26. That's a nice pickup there. They find some space in the zone and pick up the first down. Yeah, really nice call here, Chris, to be able to pick up this first down on this drag route. The quarterback does a nice job of being patient, waiting for that window to open up in that zone. And he put it right on the money for the receiver to have a chance to not just catch it, but eventually get the first. First down, we're going to throw the ball. Grab down the middle. It's Henderson. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Short.
short completion there. Second down coming up. A handoff from the shotgun. Has the first down and more. They bring him down to the 45 and a solid gain to keep this drive going. All right, Chris, let's face it. Most of the offensive linemen today, they're big. You know, they weigh over 300 pounds. But that doesn't mean they don't have to have agility. And the way they can get out there in front of the runner, create space, sometimes it looks like they're going in one direction. And a runner uses his eyes to take him in another direction because he's been blocked so well. Love those misdirection or counter plays. And this one worked out really well for a nice piece of yards and a first down. Looking for his big tight end. And it's complete downfield. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. And he takes it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Buckeyes. What a well-designed play here by this offense to get the ball to the gifted tight end. Of course, he's got the size. But here he shows you the speed that he has in outrunning the secondary into the end zone for a big touchdown. Kicking team out for the PAT try. The PAT is up and good, so we're tied up here in the third quarter. Now they get set to kick it away. And here's the return from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Iowa offense back out on the field. The last drive, they came up empty, had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? Takes the handoff. It's Williams. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you could ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll feed the back again. Solid run. They'll bring it down to the 28 yard line. Well, I feel like they called that knowing chances are they're not going to hit a home run. But look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. So from the 28 yard line, it's a third and manageable here. And they pick up the first on the ground. They can't stop him. They bring him down at the 44. That's a solid game. Getting closer to midfield now. Third down. I think the defense is really expecting the ball to go through the air. Instead, the offense keeps it on the ground. Gives it to one of the more skilled players. And he gets the yards he needs. Move the sticks. The Hawkeyes come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. The offense with some pre-snap motion. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has a handoff. Tackle up near midfield at the 48. Well, I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. The game makes it second and medium. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. What will the call be on third and long now from the 44? Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. Nowhere to run. No corral him for no game. Man, really good job here by the defense. Flying around, recognizing the ball is out, and then making the tackle short of the first down. And the Hawkeyes will send their one team onto the field. Returner decides to fair catch this. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. 
last possession, they really had the passing game. Licky moved right down the field for a touchdown. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. And he will be stuffed for no game. This is a great job of being prepared by this defense. Almost anticipating this play, they're in position to bring him down for a loss. Now it's second down here. Pre-snap motion from the offense. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Grab behind the line. It's Smith. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards. I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. He'll take a deep shot here. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. Touchdown, Ohio State. They will claim the second half lead. Chris, how dangerous is this offense? Of course, you know about the receivers and those vertical shots, but here's an example. You get the ball and the running back out in space, and takes it all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. They'll try to add the lead now with the PAT. PAT puts him in front by seven. The kickoff team on the field now is a get set to send this one away. He'll return it from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Okay, so the Hawkeyes offense is back out on the field. The last time, they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? Looking for some space. It's Williams. Breaks one tackle, gets brought down, picks up some decent yardage. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. He's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. Important second down play coming up. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. And looking for a big play here. Tried to go very deep there. Good effort. And now it's third down. Boy, that was beautiful. Man, this defensive back, he's putting on a clinic today on how to defend against the deep ball and man coverage without committing a penalty. I'm sure the secondary coach is very proud of that execution. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 27. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Cannot connect incomplete and now fourth down. But third down and short, they decide to throw the football Roll the dice a bit, doesn't work out. Now you're at fourth and short. You gotta wonder with this offensive line and this running back, do you run the football to convert? Or are they trying to go through the air again? And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. Great possession last time. They punch it into the end zone. Can the defense come up with a stop this time? Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. He's brought down, but not before the game to the 42-yard line. Well, there's just so many things happening on these read option plays, and they happen fast. This defense has done a good job of trying to prevent this quarterback from hitting the big play. He gets some yards here, but at least he didn't get out for a big gainer. Second down after that run on the previous play. And they'll give it to the back. And he's brought down after a short gain does not make the first down yardage.
So now it's third and short from the 43. Can they keep the drive going or perhaps face a tough fourth down decision? Caught over the middle. It's Scott. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. Boy, this offensive line, you got to tip your cap. They've done everything you would ask of them in taking care of this quarterback. They do it again here on third down, working with that lead. You know the pressure's coming, and they deliver. The offense will line up. Chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. Looking downfield, it's Howard. It's a quick grab. Defense stops him short of the first down marker, and that'll do it the third quarter of play. Chris, that's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead, but instead they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. Caught in the backfield. It's Tate. Binds just enough space and makes the first down. Buckeyes moving quickly down the field here. Here's the handoff. It's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Now I like to run play here. And offensively at this point in the game, you want to remain in that attack mode first while also staying in bounds and working that clock. The offense has done well to choose some clock here. Now they'll come up on second down. Quick throw. That's an RPO caught on the left side. Out of bounds, but not before a big game. This offense is ripping the defense apart today. Quick, really nice throw here to the slot receiver, and I love the quickness that he has after the catch. He's essentially a running back playing at that slot position. That's how dangerous he is after he makes a catch. So it's first and goal. The offense will try to milk the clock and add points if they can. Trying to run it, it's Judkins. Solid tackle, able to get him down. This drive has already taken more than three minutes off the clock as you come up on second down. Ball carrier tackled there. Well, anytime you use your quarterback as a runner, the goal is obviously to hit some big plays. You've got to be careful of letting your quarterback take too many big hits. Not only can he get tired, he can also start to fumble the football. Urgency here. Got to cut into this lead. It's third down and goal. To throw, it's Howard. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Buckeyes. So the offense flexing here, Kirk, and stretching their lead here in the second half. Now that touchdown gives you a little bit more breathing room, but now it's up to your own defense to help preserve that lead so you can go back out and build onto it in the second half. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Extra point up and good. A touchdown lead here now in the fourth quarter. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Hawkeyes offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. One man at the backfield, and he'll get the football. And just a short gain this time, they're able to get it down. Second down after that run on the previous play. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. 
a short completion of the tight end. But a huge collision blow delivered there by the linebacker. I really like what this defensive coordinator is doing right now. He's got a nice lead to sit back. The most important thing is tackling this offense inbounds so that clock will keep ticking. So the offense faces a third and manageable here from the 25-yard line. Looking for his back. Caught on the outside. It's Williams. And the runner steps out of bounds but does have enough yardage to pick up the first down. Hey, it's got to start somewhere. That's a nice conversion here on third down. you got a long way to go, but maybe a little momentum here. Let's see what they can do coming off of that nice play. The Hawkeyes have first and ten here. To throw, it's McNamara. Pressure is coming. Couldn't find anybody open. He just has to throw it away. Receiver makes the catch. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. I love what the defense is doing here. Sitting back, giving up some plays underneath, tackling these guys inbounds, and just keep that clock rolling. Offense facing a third and short from the 41, and they make the first down and avoid a tricky fourth down decision. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. This one's going to fall incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Oh, the quarterback and receiver just not quite on the same page. But the good news is it's fourth down and short. And trailing in this game, you've got to convert here to keep your hopes alive. And the Hawkeyes will line up to punt it away. On the kick now for the fifth time today. And the fair catch signal for and take it. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. This group has been clicking. They've really built momentum. Can the defense make adjustments? Come up with a stop here. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Nice job here controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. They bring him down, but the drive has now reached the 35. And that's going to be a first down. And, and really, Chris, kind of surprised here in the fourth quarter not to see this defense dial up some pressure. They're just sitting back in the base, making it relatively easy for the offense to pick up a first down on the ground. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? He hands it off from the gun. The gain is two yards, so it's second and eight. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quarterback keeps the football. And the defense able to hold him there to a short gain. Uh, not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. They didn't lose any yards, which is great. I think they're definitely looking for more from that play. Offense gets set up here. It's third down. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Catch made down the left side. An explosive play. Stopped at the 43. This offense picks up another first down. And that completion, Kirk, puts him over 300 yards passing today. Yeah, any time a quarterback has a day like this, really it all has to come together with the offensive line play, the receivers running these great routes, and he's just in sync. He's kind of in that zone right now, and he'll be the first one to tell you how much his teammates have helped him out today. Nice grab. It's Smith. They make the tackle, but that's an excellent game. Moves the ball to the 33. I mean, Chris, look at this guy. I mean, you talk about having a great day throwing the football and leading his team to a nice, comfortable lead late in the game, and it continues. The coach is showing confidence of what he can do. How aggressive will they be on this first down play? Off the play fake, looking to throw. That's reeled in. It's Smith. They stop him, but it's a first down. 
tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. I just continue to be in awe of this offense. Even with the lead, these guys are going to play for 60 minutes. They do not let up. Here they are. Typically, you want to run the football here to work the clock, but these guys stick to the game plan and keep throwing the football, trying to get more yards. Looking to throw it on first down. Makes the catch. It's Tate. You know, they don't pick up the first down here, but they do get some positive yards, and I really like the route to get enough separation to give the quarterback enough room to put it in there. The Buckeyes looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. QB decides to keep it here. Going to try to run inside, but nowhere to go. Boy, the options dried up quickly for the quarterback here. Very, very fortunate he was somehow able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Come up on third down. Solid drive. Defense trying to get off the field here. Big throw caught on the left side. They make the tackle, but it sets the offense up for a first and goal from the 10. Oh, that one really hurts for this defense. They get these guys to third down, a chance to maybe get them off the field, and they give up a first down late in the game. The clock will continue to roll. They can put the game away right here. It's first and goal. And the wideout goes in motion. Zero running room. Stopped right in the line of scrimmage. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Offense facing second and goal. Trying for the end zone, running it right up the gut. Nowhere to run up the middle. And they get stopped here on second down. It's going to bring up a third and goal situation. And from this far back out, wouldn't be surprised to see them go through the air. Just don't want the quarterback to take a sack here. Make sure he gets the ball out of his hands quickly. And they cut into this lead now on third and goal. Looking to throw. It's Howard. Defense is coming after him. On the junior, gets home making a sack there. I think that was a coverage sack as much as anything. They sat back in a dime defense with six defensive backs, and none of them blitzed. They just sat back in coverage, and the defensive line eventually came up with a sack. So on fourth down, they will settle for a field goal attempt. And the importance of this attempt, if he makes it, it's now a three-score game. And it's good right down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further. So after adding to this big lead, they are set to kick it away. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Iowa offense is back out on the field. Well, this has been a disappointment. They've had their doors blown off here, just playing for pride at this point. Snags the quick throw. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve as much clock as possible. Getting set. Here's second down. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up third down. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. And he finds his tight end for the catch. They stop out at the 42. That's a solid gain getting closer to midfield. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. And looking to throw now on first down. 
Let's it fly out of the wideout. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived at the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Field. It's McNamara. And he just throws it away there. Safe move. Had nobody open. The offense facing a tough conversion here. Third and long from the 42. Back to throw again. Looking for his big tight end. And he's got it. Tackle is finally made, but it's down to the 28-yard line. And the coach quickly calls timeout after the play, trying to hold on to as much time as possible. On first down, it's play action. Makes a quick catch. And the broken tackle there produces a solid gain. That's a good job here, staying ahead of the chains. Good pickup here on first down. The quarterback hits the safety valve that time. The big tight end. That'll bring up a second manageable here for this offense. The Hawkeyes looking to crank up the tempo a bit. The offense spikes the ball here, looking to preserve as much clock as they can. So now it's third and short from the 23. Potential four down territory. Let's see what the third down call is. And he'll set up to throw. Quarterback looks to his right and finds his man. They make the stop, but not before a solid gain that time. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. And the offense wisely spikes the ball here to stop the clock. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. To the air. It's McNamara. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. The offense was moving well, but two incompletions sets up a third and ten. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. And the pass is incomplete just across the goal line. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. Fourth and ten after three straight incompletions. Can they connect this time? And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. And they can't complete it. It's a turnover on downs. Defense stepping up there. First down here for this offense. From the shotgun, handoff inside. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Second down. 